this is Robin Bremer. And today I want to go over scripture 2 Corinthians 7 10. And that is um, the sorrow of the world produces death. And that's very, very important because people think that um, um, I don't know what they think. People think, um, let me see what the speed limit is here. Okay, people think that sickness, disease, uh, destroying weather, um, crazy stuff like that is from God. And that produces sorrow. And it produces death. And God is not about sorrow. The opposite of sorrow is joy. And the joy of the Lord is our strength. And if you read my first book, Feed My People Joy, um, which, by the way, is going to be republished. My publisher picked it up and released in September with a new cover. And um, you're going to really love it <clears throat> with corrections and edits and so on. Anyway, um, everything about God is joy. There's going to be joy in heaven. There's supposed to be, was supposed to be joy on earth, but men messed that up with the fall of man. But anyway, the sorrow of the world produces death. Now, some people think that God uses things to teach them negative things. Like God, they think that God made them sick to teach them a lesson or to get glory out of it or made them sick to humble them or that God made them sick um, to test them or try them. All those are lies from the devil because that's sorrow of the world and the sorrow of the world produces death and when you're sorry, sorry and being in the spirit of sorrow about those things it's going to produce a death and the devil comes to kill, steal and destroy. Another kind of sorrow of the world is tornadoes, earthquakes, uh, floods, fires, um, destructive weather. Um, those cause sorrow because they're destroying things. They're destroying people. They're killing people. They're killing their lives. They're taking away their family, their animal pets, pictures of their family, memories, uh, their communities. Those produce sorrow. And sorrow is a spirit if it gets a hold of you. And sorrow produces death. God doesn't do anything that produces worldly sorrow. Okay? So, the sorrow of the world produces death. But the joy of the Lord produces life. And you don't want anything to do with the sorrow of the world. You don't want to think that God produced that or God allowed it or God put it there. If you do, go and look at my video from a day or two before on the sovereignty of God. And that will help you. But I just show you this quick video that to look up that scripture that God does not do things that produce the sorrow of the world. The only kind of thing that God does that produces any kind of sorrow is you, through the word, would realize that you hurt God's feelings. That you did something that made him sad. And that is a sorrow. Like, God, I'm so sorry I did that. And when you are truly hurt your own feelings, that you hurt God's feelings, is a sorrow that that uh, is not of the world and, and that's a repentive sorrow and, and that's through hearing the word um, so anyway my name is Robin Bremer net is my website and I'd love for you to check it out and I'd love for you to click share or like if this is on Facebook or uh, subscribe to me um, the more people that check out my website and spread the word of all the free stuff I have available the more people are going to be touched and set free and walk in God's presence and power so help me out here <laughs> and have a blessed day we'll talk